That looks nice. Now the only thing left to do is... Good morning, modern setters. I was asking for it. I was just commenting and saying, oh, I hope the weather stays cold so I can wear my Stomy Cromer hat. But we've been so warm lately. Well, guess what? We got our first frost this morning. That's right, it's 32 degrees. And that got me thinking, I need to get the stovepipe hooked up for our antique wood cook stove out here in the outdoor kitchen. We're gonna be hosting a three day hog harvesting class out here at the end of October, and who knows how cold it will be. We're gonna need a heat source out here, so let's get this hooked up. First things first, we need to get some blocks under the wood cook stove. We want our wood cook stove to be the same height as our stainless steel tables. I was at Lowe's the other day and I found some blocks that should raise it up almost the exact height. We gotta figure out a way how to lift this up. My thought is I got a 2x6 and a floor jack. I'm gonna span one end with the jack, jack it up, put the blocks under this side and we'll go back on this side. Fingers crossed that it works. We're gonna find out. Hope I don't break anything. The stove is pretty heavy. Jack under there farther. There, let's try that. Let me move this block out of the way so we can keep an eye on both legs. Let's see what happens. Like that, how's that look? It's actually going a lot smoother so far. Maybe I shouldn't say that than I thought it would. I don't want to jinx myself. Oh. Man! Lower it back down and I gotta reposition that jack. Let's try it again. I don't like the position of the front one still, but let's lower it down. We can reposition it in a minute. There we go. I like that. That's better. Let's see. How do you think the height is? Look at that. That's pretty darn close. Uh, maybe a half inch difference. I'm happy with that. That'll make it a lot higher and a lot more convenient to use. The blocks, nah. I'm not in love with the looks of the blocks, but those are the best looking blocks that they had at the store when we went to get some. I could pour a nice concrete slab Maybe I'll do that later on, but right now, we're gonna stick with the blocks. We gotta get this hooked up and working. The next part is we need to connect our 90 degree elbow to our stove with a bolt. I just found this nice carriage bolt. I'm hoping it's gonna work. Let's see. 
Oh man, well, we can get it to work, but it's not gonna keep it from spinning, unfortunately. But I bet you that's still gonna work. That'll work just fine. Let's get the adapter and get it installed. I got to thinking a wing nut would work better, so that way if we need to take it off for cleaning, we can. Tighten it up with a pair of pliers. Twenty-eight inches the cost. If it was four inches lower, one stovepipe section would work. I guess we're gonna have to cut it. Install our twelve-inch piece first. Now that we have it started, we can tap it in place. Now we need to cut and mark our next section. We need 16 inches. I'm going to mark it with a pencil. I'm just going to keep spinning it. We're going to do what we'll mark every couple of inches. Now that we have our pipe marked, we're going to take some masking tape. And I'm going to use the masking tape as a guide and I'm going to put it right along my pencil mark. Now I have a nice mark to cut my round pipe on. I don't want to install it yet. I still have another step, but I want to make sure that it's going to fit perfect. I like it. I like putting a damper in my stove, so I don't want to figure out a nice, comfortable height. Guess we're almost looking center of the pipe. If we go too low, when I turn the damper, it'll hit this pipe. This next step is always kind of fun for me to figure out. We need to drill hole that'll go all the way through straight so your damper fits in there nice and even. If you have a six inch flue it's a little bit easier you can get a drill bit that's six inches long. This will be an eight inch makes it a little bit more difficult. What we're going to try this time instead of just eyeballing it is we got our damper set in place. I'm going to take my square mark center and then repeat it for the other side now. Figure out my screw location. I'm just gonna measure how thick it is, so four inches. I'm gonna go four inches below the ridge. Let's go four and a half to make it safe. Turn it around. Do the same thing on this side. Mark four, four and a half inches. I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole on the mark. Take our pin, perfect. Spin it over, do the same thing. Sweet. Let's see if it goes in pretty straight or not. Oh yeah, perfect. That looks nice. Take this back out and show you. When we go through our damper, we gotta go like over, under, through. That arm goes through, push it around, spin it. The spring tension holds it in place, and then you got your damper. So to take it back out, spin that around, ah, and remove it. So now we need to install. There we go. There we are 
center. Nice. We did a good job installing that. It flows smoothly. If you don't have your hole centered, you're gonna your damper's gonna bind and it's not gonna move freely. Install the pipe. Now our next piece, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to mark it at 10. We're going to mark this one at 10 and a half. Fingers crossed. Trim ring for around there. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well, let's take it off and start over. Let's put our ring on. Second place. Nice. Now the only thing left to do is get a fire going. To keep Doug happy over at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, we're gonna take our stickers off our stove pipes. Or you could just leave them on and let them burn off. They're definitely a pain. Don't know why the manufacturers have to put them on. They sure don't come off easy. Let's do a test. We left two stickers on and we took two stickers off. Let's see which ones come off easy. They're probably gonna stink burning off, but you know what? This whole antique wood cook stove is gonna stink. It's got some kind of oil on the top of it. It's gonna be smelling, smoking up in here, but it's okay, we're in an off-grid outdoor kitchen. If we were in my house, that'd be a different story, but I'm not worried about it out here. Let's get some kindling chopped up and a fire going.
Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps the channel grow. And we want to thank you for that. If you want to see how the fire goes and burning off of the antique wood cook stove goes, you're going to have to wait till tomorrow's video. We're going to get the fire going right now and we're going to work on installing the plumbing to our sink in the off-grid outdoor kitchen. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow. We'll be doing that. Bye.